Good landing. <laughs> hey, it's Rock here. What's going on, guys? MyBottleShop.com. I'm here again with my mate Marcus. How are you? Uh, well, Marcus. Oh, it's what exciting news. <laughs> Very yes. exciting news today. We do have some exciting news here. We have... Talk to us, Rock. What'd you get? <laughs> Marcus, <laughs> oh, we got in front of us a Habiki 35 year old. Yes, 35 year old. I mean, we can't even get a Habiki 17 year old, we can't get a Habiki 12 year old. Yeah. And right in front of us, um, hot arrived with an armed escort. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, yes. but it's a Habiki 35. So, what we thought we'd do today for you, my bottle shoppers, yeah, we, we do a special unboxing. That's it. <laughs> it's not often you get to uh, unbox any 35 yeah. year old whiskey. Christmas has come early. That's right, let alone a Japanese whiskey, and let alone a Habiki whiskey. Um, so you, this is the oldest Habiki whiskey uh, in the world. Um, we were actually a little bit unsure which bottle we would get because there's actually a couple of bit of variations on this. I believe uh, it was two. Uh, in the, uh, the yeah, yeah. Is that correct, Steve? Now, yeah. So there's a, a two different variations. Um, there's the uh, Arita variation, and the right. one we can see here on the writing actually is a Kutani. Um, so early Kutani cylindrical bottle. So we know now by looking at that what's inside the, the box, but until today we weren't actually sure which, uh, which one would show up. Which one would show up, um, and that's true. So what we're going to do is just I'm just going to cut this off here very ever so gently. Yeah, don't damage and, that one, Steve. Yeah, actually, just cut it very carefully <laughs> across the top here with my special unboxing knife. Um, and inside, let's have a look here, Marcus. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, we got a box inside a box. <laughs> box inside of a box. Do you want to hold that part for me, Mark? Okay, yeah, let's see I'm going to gently pull this out. Oh, God. This is very nerve wracking. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to put that down there. So, this is the box inside the box. Pretty plain looking uh, white box. But we do you see something exciting on the back there. A big E35. That's a barcode. Oh, that's 47%. 47%. Right. So, awesome. uh, Habiki, uh, I guess, would be normally 43% or 40%. Um, so they've gone uh, out. Now, I know that you know, I can see straight away that this is a Katani version of the, um, the two bottles, the 100, 150 bottles. Um, um, to be honest, I'm not sure if it was 75 of each or 150 of each. It's pretty unclear. But there's not many, right? There's not many. I, I don't know. There might be a couple of bottles that, that have come to Australia and only 150 in, in all the world. So right, right. Uh, so straight away we know it's a Katani version. And Katani, we've done a bit of research before, it means nine valleys in Japanese. Um, and, and, and it's actually an area where they did a lot of uh, porcelain work. That's right. Um, That's right. And the, the thing about the Katani porcelain work is that it was quite a colourful design. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of you know, it dates back hundreds of years in Japan, died out a bit, came back, as opposed to a, a, a Rita uh, ceramic work, which was the traditional white ceramic bottles with the blue, um, you know, sort of motifs and so forth. Um, the Kutani ceramic bottles were much more colourful. Um, I think they were famous for where the, the Japanese in that region as well were famous for doing these sort of porcelain paintings. So the fact that they've got this, this special design on this bottle uh, pretty much is a. Uh, it's a kind of hark back to those that area. Yeah, and it's Japan. good. To, I mean, you know, this is all handmade and um, hand done. And, and to be honest, you know, we're talking upwards of twenty thousand dollars here for this bottle. So it would want to be. Wow. Right? wow. Um, but I can smell as soon as you open yeah. um, the box, you, you, you get an, uh, whatever this wood is. I yeah. have no <laughs> idea. I have it heard. Smells amazing. I have heard rumours that um, it's some sort of spe special. Japanese birch like timber, it's quite lightweight. Mm -hmm. um, it smells amazing. Um, and that they've cut these boxes all from the one tree, and it's a 100, 150 year old tree. Oh, wow. I, I, that's what the story goes. If you can just hold that box there, Certainly. Marcus, I'll pull this one out, and over we go. So, um, so the, I guess, I don't know, the front there, it's sort of hand etched in the front. There's some Japanese characters, and they God knows what they say, but we can see it's a 35 year old Habiki. It's um, authentic. <laughs> it's 100% authentic. It's definitely authentic. authentic. It smells amazing. Yeah, it really does. Uh, and let's just pull this out of here. Oh, so carefully. <laughs> Please don't break that. Yes, <laughs> I don't want to break that. Uh, so, somewhere here, it looks like the Habiki symbol. 
and I'm um, not sure what the cloth is, Mark. Have you got any idea what this cloth is? No, it's like some sort of shroud or... <laughs> <laughs> So 20,000 did you say? <laughs> Maybe something to wipe the bottle down. <laughs> it's got to be something good, right? This beautiful little bow on here. Um, away we go. And wow, it's just... Very elegantly it wrapped. It is very this. elegantly wrapped. Um, and it's absolutely gorgeous. And wow. So we can see, you know, the hand-painted designs. You can see, we're talking about that Katani, how they basically do a glazing. So um, it's got all this colourful um, etching. Um, and it's glazed over. And th there was some, some talk about the gold flake, which they put in there, and then they glaze over the top of the gold. Um, uh, it, it's absolutely uh, magnificent. And we'll know, Marcus, that um, the peony flower, so there's a big peony flower right in the front of the bottle. I'm so scared to pick it up, to be honest with <laughs> um, And the butterfly. And in fact, on the box, uh, Marcus, just the other box here, the Biggie 35, it actually comes as part of the description um, for this particular bottle, not the white one with the blue, not the white ceramic with the blue and the pine looking box. This, I think this is either much rarer or much more beautiful um, variation on the two bottles, the two rare bottles that came out. So, so um, this we'll, one is the Katani? This is a Katani, is which is the, the yeah. most sought after of the two uh, rare 35 yeah. year olds. And I think, Marcus, to be honest, you know, we're, we're very lucky to um, get this bottle. Um, and that's not lost on us. Um, we appreciate the fact that um, you know, we've been allocated this particular bottle. Definitely and exclusive to my bottle shop. Yeah, well. and it, it, it's, a, it's an absolute beauty. We sort of struggled with how to set the price in the market um, because, you know, who, who knows what a price I can bottle like that. Yeah. And the way we decided to do it was we, we'd said, well, we'd look, we'd take bids on it, you know? Yeah. And, and really, you know, the highest bid wins, sort of like an auction. Um, but yeah, that's that's the uh, Habiki 35. Unfortunately, <laughs> we're going to get to see many of these. Yeah. Hopefully, we get to see more old whiskies at my bottle shop coming in here, um, so we can get our hands on it and, and unbox it for the for our customers who are watching yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, we'd like to see more of that. Um, Hopefully, more Habiki as well. Well, it's so hard. Around, around well, around these days. well, we can't. Eat, you know, we don't even have the Habiki Harmony here at the moment. Um, so it comes in, and unfortunately, a lot of people ring all the time and. Um, we do our best to get the best allocation we do, and as soon as it comes in, it goes out. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I'm glad my bottle shop has had a chance to look at this yeah, beautiful right. uh, Habiki 35 year old uh, Kitani yeah, Tikana. Right. Yeah, very um, nice. Just before we do go, oh, do we have some tasting, tasting notes. notes. I did get some tasting yeah, notes. Yeah, because look, hopefully somebody will drink this one. <laughs> some <laughs> lucky bastard or get around person. Get, get your lips on it. <laughs> It'll be good. Oh. <laughs> so if you do open and get your lips on it, or you just want to buy it and collect it, imagine this one it tastes like, Marcus. <laughs> so it's basically, this bottle is characterised by a woody flavour, reminiscent of aloe wood, an aroma of ripe fruits, followed by the sweet scent of dried fruits, vanilla and honey. So it does have a perfect balance of sweetness and sourness, followed by a rich and noble flavour, if you're that lucky person. Right. Um, and they do say that it does have a flavour distinct to whiskies aged in Japanese oak, uh, so Mizunuruka, similar to the other Hibikis. So, you know, you'd be a pretty lucky person if you get around that far. Well, I'm, I'm imagining it on my lips, <laughs> oh, but uh, sadly that's as far as yeah, it will go. <laughs> it's, all, it's all dreams for that, I think, Steve, but, um, but you know, just to have this on your shelf, it's, you, know, you can't go past it. Lucky person. Lucky, lucky. <laughs> Alright, well thanks for joining so, us again, Marcus. Us. Awesome. It's Rock and Marcus. Take care. Thank you. Bye. See you.